Hey, 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 OGL cast here. I'm going to bring you another unbanning video because the last one that I made, I didn't have any milestones completed for my elite vehicles, so I couldn't show you really the whole thing. And I've had a couple of requests now to make a new video that shows all of that. So, it just so happened I had a buddy that came to me, he just got banned, so we're going to demonstrate this using his account. So as you saw there, I'm banned. I mean, I'll click it again. Can't go in. Alright. So, whether or not you've seen the first video, we'll just jump right into it here. Make sure you have the latest number. Now, I just added this uh, instance of Bluestacks. I only had five. You start out with unnumbered, and then as you can see one through it's supposed to be five i renamed it five but it's showing up as eight in here so for this video feel free to ignore that all right let's get our files so because i just pulled this up it's got these temp files in here you don't need those the only one you ever want to keep is the 8ed the file will always be named this so with that said we could just go ahead and send this one right over now it's really not important to have this file because you will be generating a new one but if somebody's done some in-app purchases or anything like that there may be data in there that we want to copy over to the new file so we'll keep that one and then we will go down to our PP folder and now you might be doing this using uh, cable so you know navigate as you normally would through your file manager and send them over to your computer but I prefer to use Bluestacks so now you can always double check make sure before you pull the numbers uh, files excuse me that you are in fact using the right account here so this ends 5882 and 5882 sometimes if your SCB doesn't if you're doing this for somebody else you know you might load it up and it doesn't come in there just back out of the game and load it up again and it should deliver them both for you so let's copy those over and that's all I am going to need of those so while in here I'm gonna go ahead and delete this folder that was inside the PP folder now I'm also going to delete the long file and then we're gonna back it all the way up or in your case you might just have to go out you know one folder and into another if you're doing it through a cable but delete this keychain file all right so all those files are deleted now I'll just get myself back in here where I want to be I can go ahead and shut the game off and actually start it up again while that's loading up to get me my new player ID I am going to run those first files that I pulled through the packer and what I'm going to do is just rename each one, add a little B in front. It just, you know, it's a way to uh, keep the files separate so you don't actually accidentally overwrite them when you decrypt your next set of new files. As well as, you know, it's a way to determine which ones are your band and which ones, you know, are your good. So now all we're waiting for is this to finish loading up. I'm going to go ahead and empty my original folder and let's see as you can see it's already created me a new ID it hasn't created me this yet this is actually been something I've noticed happening more and more lately it'll probably load all the way up let's see if it does or not right now all I did was select a new account on the left because if I had selected the one on the right I'm right back into my band account and that's not doing me any good so select the new one on the left and let's see if it's gonna start giving me something nothing yet so this looks like this should be the new number that I'm gonna be looking for 7943 again I'm not surprised in the least to see that this is doing this It's been the new norm lately. Yeah, dare I say that term. I'll 
just keep refreshing here, but I'm almost guaranteeing that it's going to get to that race screen, you know, the hello rookie or hey rookie, and it still won't be there. Not a big deal. Don't panic if it happens to you. Just close out the game and relaunch it. All I did it over here was just refresh that folder because I just deleted them out of here. So, refresh this side so that way it gets it nice and blank for me. Should be seeing that Hey Rookie screen any moment. Now, of course, if you're doing this on your phone, you would just get the files off of your phone and you might as well cut them and paste them onto your computer because that'll save you from having to delete the long file and your SCB, NSB files. You still have to go back and delete that keychain data on your own. And then you can just launch the game on your phone again. You'll see the screen for you to choose. Do not choose the cloud. Choose the option on the left and wait for the game to finish loading so you can get your files. Now again, if it happens to you on your phone, then it is it is just a new thing. See, it's not refreshing whatsoever. So let me just close this, start it up again, and I guarantee you they'll be there this time. But yeah, if it does it to you on your phone as well, same deal, back out of the game, relaunch the game. Although, I'd be surprised if anybody wants to leave me any comments that are trying it through the cable. I just don't bother to. It doesn't make sense for trying to record a video on the process when you can't see that I'm plugging in my phone and everything. All you would see is a folder view like this pop up and then I would navigate to my files from there. see if any of this has started coming in for me now. Nope, still not yet. Still waiting. There we are. And now I can take both of these. Whoops. There we go. Copy those over. I guess I didn't copy them both. Well, anyway, I still need my long file. Go back and grab my NSB. Yeah. I don't even have to finish letting the game load up at this point. So we're going to run those through Packer. Alright, and now we should have six files in here, as you can see. We might as well highlight them all, open them all with your Notepad++. No, first thing I want to look at is my band player ID, or the long file, and I am not seeing where they had any in-app purchases so we can completely get rid of that and don't need it now the SCB all right so this is what I didn't get to show in my last video you see down here this little bit of information in the secured car data you need to get rid of that otherwise it's going to cause an issue so as you can see when I click there it also uh, makes this bracket in red the ending bracket Another thing you can do is hit search and then select all between brackets, but that's going to select more than you want. What you want in the end is just an open closed bracket with nothing inside of it. So highlight the spaces in between and there we go. That file is all done. Now maybe they did spend a little bit of parts, so you'll want to be nice now and just go ahead and reset any of their spent to zero so that they'll have all of those again and you got to do the same in the NSB the NSB there's no secure card data when I say the same I mean you're gonna do all your aftermarket parts now this you don't have to do this maybe they didn't spend a lot you know I just kind of do it out of force of habit but while in the NSB, the other important thing you want to look for is your TCBL. This basically says uh, your account's banned. See how there's a negative one there? I'm going to change that to a zero. All right. 
Now, the other thing, now I explained this in the video, but I didn't get to demonstrate it again because I didn't have any elite. But you want to look for all of your CMLVs. This is your data that contains the milestone progress. So we're going to do find all in current document because it's the only document that's going to be in anyway. And that'll list it down at the bottom for you nicely. If you have a lot of progress, then you might have a lot to go through here and clean out. In this case, I think he only had one car done according or started according to the secure car data. So I'm only expecting to find one. But to continue on, I just want to make sure and scroll through this slowly. You'll be surprised how easy it is to miss a three or a five or even really any single digit number if you're scrolling really fast, you know. So scroll slow, take your time, make sure you reset them all. It won't show at zero down here until you've saved your file and then done the search again. And now when I scroll down through, you'll see that there's no more 16 anywhere. All right. So with that done, you've got your CMLVs cleaned up. You've got the TCBL changed to zero instead of negative one. This file is complete. So we can just control A to highlight everything. Control C to copy it. And then we'll go into our new NSB. See how I'm doing that from the B NSB, the band NSB. Copied all that, and now I'm going to do the same. Control A. This time I'm going to paste it. Control V. All that's done. This file can be minimized and saved. And that one I can just get rid of. Now my SCB, same deal. Control A. Copy it all. Control C. Go into your new SCB. Control a and control V now he's at least still got his legend data that he had any of his resources are all gonna stay the same for him the only thing I had to do was clean up that secure car data so now we'll minimize that save it and this one we can get rid of yeah I'll save it just in case now we're left with just the long file which you already know we want to just highlight right click our NSB click hash files and then you can right click on this line here and copy CRC 32 that number gets pasted right in here minimize it save it let's go ahead and run the packer option 2 repack the files and now we can put them back in our game I always start with here. I want to make sure that these don't match so I don't have to do anything extra. If they do match, don't panic. Just run the game. Once it gets to your garage, you should be able to refresh this or even just before the garage screen's about to open. And that number should change. Should it not do it, because it has done it to me before, just go ahead and inject your files anyway. The game will start up. You'll get a sync error, but don't worry. Just close the game out, re-inject your files, and you'll be good to go. Alright, so here we go. I just added my new long file. Oh, my past it. Now I'm going to add my modify NSB and SCB. And I'm going to relaunch the game. Now just a painful loading screen.
and there we go. The game's back up and running. Go here. It's no longer telling us that this feature is not accessible. This account has been officially cloned. I know a lot of people say unban, but really all you're doing is cloning the account. You're, you, there's no real way to unban. I mean, if you unban it, some of the ways you might find out there, then you'll also find that it's only temporary. Clearing your cache, any of that, it's not a solid method. The best way to do it is to just clone the account. And I guess that's it. I really have nothing else to show you guys, so there you go. You saw me uh, have to actually mess with that secure car data in the SCB. And I showed you how to reset the CMLVs. And also, of course, reset the TCBL. So this account is good to go. I will let him know uh, because I didn't do anything with the resources. I don't have to worry about doing a race or anything. Uh, sometimes I do that. Another thing you can do is just simply cash in some keys. Anything that will uh, manipulate the resources will make sure that the SCB is also synchronized. So, alright guys, I'm going to just finish going through this the rest of the way and then I'm giving them back the account. You guys have fun as always. Hack and mod responsibly. OG Outcast out.